Okay, welcome back folks to another video by VU3 Golf is Kinomba Radio channel. So today let's talk about the most uh, popular uh, all band radio receiver, uh, which has been on sale for the last two months. This is based on ESP32 S3 board, uh, which uses a SI4732 DSP chip. And this is a all band, all mode uh, receiver. This whole package is very, very small. Uh, this is uh, 1.9 inch uh, screen display and uh, 170 mm by 270 mm uh, size. This has got an internal battery, a speaker, an SMA mail connector, a USB uh, C type uh, charging port, and a firmware upgrade port, and headphone jack, and a multi use uh, uh, switch, uh, which is a rotary encoder with a push button switch. All the controls of this radio is via only this uh, switch. And this comes with a very good quality uh, telescopic whip. Let's connect that. And it also comes with a standard USB type C cable, right? Just to let's switch it on. And uh, this is the basic software. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I'm uh, very much inside the house. So reception could be a bit tricky, but when I extend the I can increase the volume. The volume will go up to 60. So the point of today's video is uh, to show you the radio and to show you how to upgrade the firmware to this, to the latest firmware. This is the basic firmware. This comes with the radio. You don't have to upgrade. This is a fantastic radio and you can just use it as it is. It's got a pretty good, uh, you know, UI 1.9 inch screen IPS display. This is not a touch display and uh, but the quality is fantastic right this goes all band and uh, in the original firmware getting into the settings is a bit uh, see there you go you need to double click right and then you can change it let me zoom in a little bit you can uh, one click and you'll go to the volume band you can go to all and then you can you know scroll down right or double click you can go to band again and then go to 10 meters, CB, short wave 9, 15 meters. These are all, uh, you know, ham band. Anything with a short wave is for listening. See, that menu goes away. So, in the upgraded firmware, a lot of these things have been changed, uh, made better. So, this is the operation. I don't want to get too much with the uh, operation as such because the operation is very, very simplistic. It works, right? I've taken it outside and I can get uh, pretty much... Uh, most of the bands, uh, it's pretty good. Reception is good, but you can compare it to a ATS uh, 120. ATS 120 is uh, another fantastic radio. Let me zoom out a little bit. And uh, I have also upgraded the firmware on this. And I think I have a video of it uh, upgraded firmware. So today I'm not doing a uh, comparison, but I'm just showing you uh the how uh ats 120 is leaks ahead of the small radio but the small radio is very very small for the kind of features it offers especially with the upgraded firmware it's fantastic radio um i really don't have any complaints on this uh i got this ship to india for about uh 3300 it was on pre-order early january i ordered i got it in uh mid-march so pretty fantastic radio and I'm not opening this up today, Teardown is for another, uh, you know, uh, day. But uh, comparison to ATS 120, you can see the size, right? It's very, very small. So let me set up everything for a firmware upgrade. And uh, then once we upgrade the firmware, I'll show you what all features are there in the firmware upgrade. For the firmware upgrade, for the original, uh, you know, uh, OEM firmware and the upgraded firmware, I'll put out links in the description below and the links that i'm using here on the screen uh you need to download a si4732 flash download tool and the firmware uh, i'll put out the links and then there are three firmware files for this you need to update with the flash download tool for espressive right so okay so this is a pretty much and you might ask me till what you know band does it go to uh it'll I have seen with the upgraded firmware, it goes to, you know, um, 150 kilohertz is the lowest I've gone with this. So let us check here. Pretty much 150. Yeah, 150 kilohertz is the lowest this can go. 
pretty fantastic and it will cover everything and quality is also good and let me just quickly see it's difficult to you can also ch uh, change the step and the mode uh, so mode you got AM FM LSB USB there is no CW maybe it will come in another uh, firmware update as you can see let me zoom in you need to double click here then go to mode and then LSB USB AM FM right so pretty much uh, all there is and uh, you can go to BFO I you might have to tune this a little bit if you are offset the, if there is an offset go to any uh, known radio station or a ham band if you are a ham and then uh, change the you know zero beat the beat frequency uh, bandwidth is also there it can go up to 4 kilohertz uh, bandwidth and uh, then AGC soft mute is there then scanning is there scanning is very very rudimentary nothing much uh, on the original software OEM let's uh, quickly uh, you know set up for the firmware update I'll walk you through the process you can do that and then we'll explore uh, some of the features in the firmware thank you let me I'll be right back okay I yeah uh, okay first uh, you need to open up this uh, website http mini radio.com uh, I'll share the link below to this then here you need to download the flash download tool I've already downloaded it and we have it here flash download tool then you can download the official firmware if you want just as a backup you don't need it but I suggest you keep an official copy I also have that here then you need to open up this URL I'll also put the URL in the description below here go to the releases page right the latest one just got released uh, three days back which is 2.10 download this ATS mini 210 I've also downloaded that so we have everything uh, set up you see uh, let me explain this <coughs> firmware files before we go further the firmware you need to upload in the flash download tool uh, there are three files first you will put the bootloader and then you'll put the partitions and then you'll put the bin or you can put the merged bin one shot but as you can see it is about 8 MB uh, it takes a lot of time if you use this you can use it but I suggest you just use these three in order I'll uh, you know tell out the order once again bootloader first partitions next and then the bin uh, the I know bin last right if you go here uh, one of these places they will explain how to do that uh, where is that here it is mini uh, not here uh, one of these places here right so select the I'll, I'll show you all of this right but in case if you forget you need to know the addresses of where the firmware should go if you uh, screw up this address you will have a wrong firmware update and you might break the radio so please be very careful and once you put these addresses in the flash download tool it will stay there beyond your uh, restart of the software so you know not to worry then okay so before we start with the updates let us look at uh, let me connect that using a CSP so I am not using the USB C connector cable that was given by the uh, with the radio I don't trust it I use it only for charging I mean I have plenty so uh, let me connect that uh, radio and uh, switch it on uh, you should uh, see that come up pop up and you see it is uh, I'll just uh, reduce the volume on this so the radio will switch on uh, let me see if I can even turn on the video at the same time uh, yeah uh, okay so the radio is on I have connected it to the USB cable uh, to the laptop right and then here on the device manager you can see COM14 now let's open up the flash download tool uh, go here flash download tool and uh let me just check if it is recording it is recording okay so flash download tool so here you need to be careful uh what uh, chip type it is esp32 s3 not c3 not s2 it is s3 if you have doubts go back to this page and look at this esp32 s3 main control board is esp32 s3 not c3 uh, nothing else esp32 s3 develop and then select usb not uart okay then load once you load you will have this uh, you know uh, 
empty so you need to set this up uh, look at the let me select the firmware first right uh, ATS mini so we set first is bootloader bootloader and it will show green because it has loaded it correctly then you need to select uh, partitions and then you need to select the main INO bin right so those three are the uh, and the first uh, is at 0, 0 hex 0, 0 hex 8000 and 0 hex 10000 right so if you go back to this that is what we have selected um, first is 0 hex 0, 0 hex 8000, 0 hex 10,000 that is the addresses for which each of these files should go. So if you look at it bootloader goes at 0 x 0 bootloader goes at 0 x 0 partitions goes at 0 x 8,000 and uh, I know bin goes at 0 x 10,000. So verify it a couple of times before you go ahead and flash it and I I you know one thing is that these things don't get auto checked right even if you select the file here and you click on start it won't flash the firmware it took me a uh, couple of times to do that so ensure that you select the files for the flashing to work right then uh, in the device manager we saw that this is at com 14 so select com 14 borders 115 200 and then spi speed is 40 don't change that spi mode is do dio delta india oscar so keep it at that and then click on start uh, keep on watching the radio what will happen right click on start so it is starting and then it switched off and then the firmware uh, upload is happening and then it shows it as finished right yeah your your screen will go blank don't worry switch it off and then switch it on it will come back now it's got the latest firmware right so i'll come back and then we'll look at the various options in the latest firmware this is all you have to do for the firmware update thank you okay um so welcome back and uh, uh, we have upgraded the firmware now so when you start the firmware it will by default it will be at this frequency fair enough not a problem so let us uh, tighten this and scroll down one of the tricks that i'll show you with the new firmware you can see this bump here this is not a trick with the firmware this is what i've done because the knob is very slippery i just added a rubber ring that's all uh, a lot of people have 3d printed uh, knobs to this but i like the aluminium one uh, for the grip purposes are add a rubbering. So one of the tricks to the new firmware is that You press and give a turn. It will start, you know going until you turn the uh, Knob uh, in the opposite direction. It will stop a press won't stop the seek you need to turn the uh, you know Knob in the op opposite direction. So volume you're at 30. Let me increase the volume So now when you click on this, by default, it will go to the volume. Let me show you what other things you can do. Um, settings, if you go to settings, there's a settings menu now. Let me just zoom in. As you can see, there's a settings menu. Click on that. You can control the brightness. It will go from 128 all the way to 255. So I'll keep it at 128, the default one. And then settings. And then about, it will show you the firmware version and everything. So settings theme. This is fantastic. So you can, different uh, themes you can select for the uh, radio. Um, I like the default one, uh, automatic vol uh, volume control. So I think this is only on SSD. Softmint is there in case, I think only on SSD. ADC is there, ADC on or attenuator, right? So it'll, ADC on. So most of these work only on uh, you know, SSP bandwidth, FM does uh, have a bandwidth, so keep it at auto, that's fine. Then step, uh, step is 100k, uh, 200k, 1 meg, so you should have a default for now. All of this will be useful, uh, so band, right? They've added a lot of band in the new uh, uh, firmware, like you can see 13 meters, 15 meters, 16, 19, 22, 25, 31. So all of these they have added in the new firmware. Previously you saw that it had only SW1, SW2. So they are adding a lot, 160 meters. So so you can select a lot of bands. Uh, 
which will be from um, so let me go back to VHF right so then what else is there uh, step we saw band mode so right now in this you get only VHF but let us go to all then we can look at uh, mode right AM, USB, LSB, FM, USB, LSB. See, again, there is no CW. Okay, I wish there was CW. Um, probably it will come in the uh, next uh, lot of scope for firmware. A lot of people are doing the firmware. I have uh, looked at a couple of firmwares and found this is the best one. So, I am recommending this wholeheartedly. So, pretty much, yeah. And there is also sleep, which I like. A little bit sleep. Uh, this is the, probably the mode to settings. Yeah, there you go. There is also calibration this is the same as the bfo setting so i'm not uh, it's properly calibrated so i'm not changing that sleep sleep you can go from 30 to 255 i'll set it at 180 seconds so the display will go off if you want the display okay let us see that i'll bring it back to 10 seconds uh, and then keep it at that and uh, 10 seconds later the display will go off um quicker way to uh, save the display um see all you have to do is press the button and it will be back so setting sleep let me move it to uh, 180 so three minutes uh, yeah, there you go so what else is there soft mute settings photo settings uh, we saw calibration we saw brightness about theme yeah pretty much all of it so just leave it like that and uh, so i usually uh, i see there is no going back here you just have to wait for the menu to cancel on its own so or select an option and then it will cancel so i'll just do it like this oh it should work uh, no. uh they must have removed that option so can we scan this in the new from there uh, they have removed the scan of this okay um so then step bandwidth mute band I'll select the all uh, it should be all yeah, I'm looking for some specific 9 megahertz frequency so it should be all It used to work in the previous one, but now it's not working. Well, anyway, um, so this is the mini radio, ATS mini. Um, so it's a very good radio. Go ahead, you can take this anywhere, uh, you know, slip it in your pant pocket. And also, I got uh, another radio, uh, another antenna for this. Uh, this is very nice. I don't have, yeah, there you go. This one, uh, let me just. Uh, uh, BB antenna this also works very well um, outside so you can go in for this and uh, use the telescopic as well so you have a lot of options right okay thank you very much uh, have a nice day uh, wait for another video by video 3 golf is to mobile thank you